Hey traders and investors, it's Serge Berger here. What I would like to take a look at today is TD Ameritrade specifically. And um, before looking at the stock, I need to just quickly remind you that basically the market, the market structure for the, at least the near term certainly has changed over the past, uh, let's call it the past month or so, okay? What used to work was trading breakouts for, it's worked for a long time now, for multiple years, um, and, and blindly buying sort of the, 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 the most, the closest moving average or trend line. Now that's changed, okay? So what we need to start doing now is buy dips um, against very defined lows. And there's really nothing easier uh, no easier way to show you this than showing the current setup in TD Ameritrade. Uh, but again, the broader the broader idea I really want to run home today is that the market structure changes every once in a while, and we need to start doing different kinds of trades because others don't work. So we need to have multiple tools in our toolbox. So let's look at TD Ameritrade. TD Ameritrade, uh, obviously, uh, ticker symbol a AMTD, beautiful trend higher. 2013 was a monster year for the stock. Even coming into 2014, you know, pretty decent run. So I tried to make a marginal higher uh, high here in uh, mid-April, uh, mid-March, and then just really started failing. And it started failing quite miserably to the extent that now the stock is like 20-ish percent off the uh, off its highs here. Let's measure that. Yeah, almost 20 percent. Uh, but more importantly, it hasn't touched its 200-day moving average since uh, basically a little more than a year ago. That's a long time for a stock like this. So uh, instead of trying to trade a breakout here, which obviously we can't do because the stock is nowhere near its all-time high, we need to start looking for very defined trades. And more importantly, is defined at uh, defined risk. So if we're looking at this stock, uh, what, it, what, what an active tra investor and trader can do is really start leaning against okay, leaning against a very defined support level, or what at least looks like it could be support. Um, again, after an 18, 20% sell-off uh, over the course of a couple weeks, uh, where it sliced through its 50 and 100 day moving average, which it hasn't done in a long, long time, um, the stock here does look like it, it offers pretty good risk reward. So uh, what an active trader investor will do here is use the uh, the lows of, in this case, uh, today, which is Friday, um, uh, April 11th, uh, or maybe even a little bit below that, so you really get to the 200 day moving average, which is this red line. Uh, use that as a low to lean against. So, what you want to do is buy the stock, maybe bounce it up to the 50 to the 100 day moving average, which would be something like, you know, 31, 50, maybe even 32 area uh, against the defined low here, uh, at the 200 day moving average. So, that's what you call a defined risk trade. You, you you you, ex you know exa exactly where you're going to be proven wrong if this stock dips below the 200 day moving average uh you know pretty much you've been proven wrong because you're you're thinking that it's going to bounce here so that's a a very defined risk trade uh currently here uh in the example being TD Ameritrade uh but again the idea more is to show you that you have to be able to have diff different tools for different market environments and uh you know since trading breakout stopped working uh you know some time ago now we got to start leaning against uh, leaning against uh potentially defined lows for also a, a, a quicker type of time frame. So I hope this makes sense. As always, if you've got any questions, you can hit me up on my Twitter uh, handle, which is SteadyTrader. Take care.